What's happening guys? Decided to do handheld today. Doing a little bit of walking in the morning and uh, give you guys this update video. So I'm refilming it. So I filmed it yesterday, but what ended up happening is when I got home, a whole bunch of other things required my immediate attention. So I was not able to edit it. And then later in the day when I decided to sit down and edit it, I was just gassed. The night before I had three hours of sleep, but it's just been a consistent um, mess uh, in terms of the sleeping. So um, I'm gonna get into that now. So basically this is my update video. This morning was the 11th day straight of waking up at 4.30 a.m. Super excited to say that that's been going well. So the way I'm gonna break this video down is I'm gonna go into the positives and negatives. Then we're gonna talk about mindset because that's the one thing I've noticed that's changed the most over these past 11 days. And then what I'm excited for moving forward. So before I get started, I just wanna say thank you to the feedback I received on the first video. I wasn't expecting it because it's not one of my normal comedy videos, right? This is something else. But I just wanna say thank you because the feedback was amazing. I have people now writing to me at 4.30 in the morning because they either wake up 4 30 in the morning already or they've also decided to embark into this journey and also try to wake up at 4 30 in the morning so i'm messaging people literally at that time in the morning good morning are you awake and all that kind of stuff i really appreciate that uh, i've got people messaging me saying that i've inspired them to start something new change something new in their life and i mean that's honestly the greatest and i don't want anybody to feel that this is something that they need to do that oh if you're not waking up early in the morning then what are you doing and all that kind of stuff. We're all just chasing ultimate happiness. And that's that's the thing that I, I want for everybody. And for me, with the goals and the dreams that I have, this is the kind of lifestyle that is required, I guess you want to say. You know, you have to put in a certain amount of work for certain things that you want. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, just thank you so much for that. And uh, let's get started. Positives and negatives. So for the positives, bro, the positives and the negatives, bro, the positives are basically the fact that I have been waking up at 4.30 in the morning for 11 days straight regardless of what time I went to bed. So super happy about that, really strengthening that discipline muscle. The other positive is that eight days out of the 11, I was able to get everything else in. So in terms of vitamins, working out, all that kind of stuff, I did those straight. The last three days now, I've kind of slacked off a little bit and that is completely due to the my sleep schedule. That Those would be the positives, I wanna say, is that that's been going well. I, f I feel good, I feel motivated, mindset is, is, is focused. Now the negatives, obviously, is the last three days a little bit of, of slacking off in terms of certain aspects of what I wanted to change. Not only that, but uh, as I mentioned before, is the sleep schedule. So what I mean by that is my goal is to be in bed by 9.30, 10 p.m. every night. But I mean, I would say three days out of the 11, I got to bed at 10.30. And then the remainder of the days, I went to bed at probably midnight, one o'clock every night. So do the math, it's roughly three or four hours of sleep. However, I would be waking up at 4.30 in the morning every day and I felt good. But last night, yesterday, it caught up to me. And the productivity just wasn't there. I mean, the producti productivity the other days was going strong, was there, there was a video every week, sometimes two videos in the day, stories, you know what I'm saying? So like, I was, I felt good and I'm motivated and all that kind of stuff. You know, let's go through this little hole over here. Look at that. Well, I feel like I'm walking in the Amazonia over here, you know? <laughs> all right, I'm all wet. So that's pretty much uh, that in terms of the negatives. Now I wanna go into mindset because that has been the strongest thing over the past 11 days. And I feel like I've switched, literally like a light switch. My mindset, I just, I feel focused and determined to do First of all, to wake up at 4.30 a.m. because I'm not getting good sleep. You know, I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to bed at eight, so that's why it's easy to wake up for me at 4.30 in the morning. No, it's not. It's hard to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, especially on four hours of sleep, but it's my mindset waking up and saying, listen, you're, you're gonna do this. Because I said, for those of you first watching this video for the first time, I set the goal of waking up at 4.30 in the morning for 21 days straight. If I mess up on the 15th day, I'm restarting to zero. I'm not, you know, oh, I messed up one day, whatever. I'm just developing this discipline muscle to be able to wake up at 4.30 in the morning because I'm just so much more productive and I have been. Even on four hours of sleep, I'm more productive. In the first five to six hours in the morning, I am productive. I would never take naps, but I started doing that and I mean, it is game changer and what i mean by that is that even on four hours of sleep come 12 o'clock i remember one of the days i was crashing hard and i got home i was supposed to sleep for 15 minutes ended up sleeping for an hour in the middle of the afternoon when i woke up it's as if i had gained an extra day it's, like, it's as if that week had eight days because i was able to go again until midnight is that what i want to be doing no because the way i like to think of this is you wake up in the morning your phone's at 50 percent battery so you got to charge at midday to get the other 50 percent whereas it's nice to start the day off with 100 percent and just use it throughout the day which is what i'm doing today last night i got to bed it was nine o'clock, 4.30 in the morning wake up time, super easy to do, I feel good, I'm awake, and I'm gonna be good for the whole day. So it's just, it's that consistency now, trying to get to bed at that time throughout multiple days. And that is what essentially I'm excited for now because I've been productive, my mindset has been strong, 
over the past 11 days minus the couple of factors in those last three days and that was on four hours of sleep so what i'm excited for is when i get a week straight of my seven to eight hours of good sleep, how much more productive and how much more focused and how much more disciplined I'll be then. Like that's what I'm really excited for. Cause I haven't seen myself yet at hundred percent, I guess we'll say. So that's pretty much that. Another thing about mindset that I want to mention is that my mind feels open, right? And like, I'm, I'm almost like analyzing everything about my life. So nothing seems to be a problem and everything seems to be an opportunity to get better at. So I'm just analyzing certain things. Okay, I messed up here. This could have been done better. I'm noticing that. And the other thing, which is huge, is that not blaming exterior factors for what I am not doing. Let me explain that. Basically, you know, if I have a, a schedule set and I get sidetracked with this, I get a phone call from this person, I get whatever, whatever, I cannot blame the phone call. I cannot blame the traffic. I cannot blame the person or whatever it is for not getting my stuff done. I have the ultimate choice to do whatever I want to do. And if I don't want to answer the call or if I know or if, or if this phone call is going to throw me off, then I can pick up and say, hey, exactly, listen, I can't speak right now. But if I decide to get on that phone call and talk for an hour, that's my choice, right? So it's so easy to blame everything else. And it, I just, I feel like it allows you to slow down. It gives you a reason to say, hey, you know what? It's not my fault. It's somebody else's fault. It's, it's such an easy thing to blame others, to take the, take the responsibility off yourself, but it's just a shitty way of going about things. And when you take accountability and when you factor that in, shit gets real, you know? And, and that's what I'm really noticing now, especially over the past 11 days. There's certain moments where, yeah, I'm scrolling on my phone. And it's like, fuck, Matt, like, why are you waking up at 4.30 in the morning for if you're gonna waste an hour of time scrolling, right? And, I'm, and that's another thing, I'm catching myself doing that but anyway taking up enough of your time thank you guys so much again you guys left such great feedback on the first video i'd love to get feedback again on this video if you guys are also trying some new lifestyle thing and you change uh, any feedback any tips you can give me if you want to dm me i'll try my best to get back to you and yeah i just i love interacting with you guys so thank you again so much and have yourselves a fantastic weekend take care